a be remix as he or we a lot of we so a drummy kenny a drummer yeri misa ambo idepiko wadala rimalia mwavani misa rimalia eli ivlari ata wadala beni bagini ye sunduri madria rosale ban etcheta ata episcopi ni andra alega maria nila isu erni zizu a drogo ge alega maria gorisi Alera Maria eturisi modu mudrin toisa mane odu bane reduzu bware njizuri ma ai ere bwadale imanvi Yesu Kristo be kare nyazu adrobe eli eredire Maria dani dani diafa bani yemu ba sendu di madria di ba afadi ba ovuni ebaro kane ku onyafaro sendu di nyani nazu ndrizaro di ku te efiniri e bini ama ndiye episcopi di teria ama ikini e amama oa ijere ezikasi amama owi orindi ata amadri episcopi diri adroni beni e sawa misa diri malia ayeni mu embata azidi oja kindondo di siku Sawa episcopi ni embata fezu duare ama iki ni eri mi ikaicho agarabati vakwani eri ogogo mi agiazi echopi kidiojapi mini rarevo kanisi afama lete amani rekini lata bani yemula e, misa di maliadi e, bile lata alozori Rengazo buku ondwa nerea chapter kani kudinambori na edozo vasalo pere oromi. Lata irizori, eri engazo waraga irizo, paolo nisi timiteo diri malea, edozo chapter su versus azia pere aro. Evangelio Amani ya mula misa di maliare Ame risu Evangelio Mateo ni siri malia Chapter towi Vasi Alo pere Mudidi ni iri Migo biblia kadrichi Mieto dro Latade la asera Erenia ni Miasi di chezo Beni Ejo lata alozo rumalia Amani esu Angiriri kini Orindi Ba pi Ba aladi diri Adro madri alia Lata alozo rumalia Ejo amani Ngamu esu angiriri Kini Ba feduma Owiru Adro madria lea Madingonde Achi Maniri Muzu Muzu ani oku Kristo Dri Ejo alare jezuri Esuzu Buadale Beni Evangelia lea Erembata Kristo nife Oje ini Be ini Be diari Kini ba Ala Ba Aliyoro asisi di madleba Kari buniri ngovo eini Umegu kujimegu para Kim ikani mipa onji Wabi lakungo ponji pa japiskopi Kilembe pasawa Don wapu ayunia Kate kume ichukungo kanyang domondo Ibiti ni wakisa, ibedi ngeti ngati machoku konyi Kala wako lembe ma japiskopi bewe chunogi ndundu Wekara, kubike nyo Ponji majibe niuta kuduka adhui Maro ibiti ayakakeni, manano minu wangu go ponji mapire tek Ento pikonyo wa kaitie kubibili ya peri Kwanu meachel Bi ai kuri bukupa riyaku 
wish madongo adek matendo achiel mijiku abongwen malama mapire tek mi ye obawashmia tipu paju matira utie iching mongo chan bimu lukumugi ungo kwa numera leo watin kure boku pa Paul Malain kurikia pa Paul Malain mirari onde iban Timoteo kaichi ku Biblia ibikwano which madongo angwen matendo ni chako abusiel wabijiku e abora mawile ndenendo watu ni anka woni saa odaro rang ira mumako jukiera kode mani ni de para mitode odaro romo lem kwenda mwa bi ai kodi lem kwenda maleng mamato ukeo which madongo a bitch matendo a shell wajiku apara ario ma wi lebe matich mi ye obewashinia jumugisa juma chan mitipu unegugi pirango per mi polo utie mege ani gitie kwan ma obiti lega ma enu don kai tie ku biblia ichoko kwano gi uni nyoke kai gwa ku biblia peri pacho koni ichoko kwano ichoko do kwane ipacho ento pile pasawa wa bilo kungo ponji pa japiscopi don winje leg matek we kara tik maleng u konyi anyang lembene pien samo ku ikar mi lega ma kumenu tik maleng be konywa kanyang lembene gi mu ku samo ku mabe don wa kwa yenia koya u kemi gi wa we remoko we kara wa wot kapor lega kude afoyo we now ask the choir to give for us the song as we wait for the procession thank you
the driver of Bishop Santos, Tomari, if you are around, Bishop needs you. The driver who came with Bishop Santos, one out, the Bishop needs you, if you are around. Report immediately to the Bishop's house. Otoma, driver of the Bishop Santos, Haiti Pindano and his Bishop, Bishop, the Gang for Bishop, you put ya, you have a little lady.
also guiding their mourners. Usually, when people are gathered like this, there is this temptation of people taking photographs using their phones. We request that those photographs, if you want to take them, do it from where you are seated. We are allowing only the accredited press people to take these photographs. But even then, we are requesting that at that time during Mass, please, we limit criss-crossing here and there. I am begging that we follow that. Taking of photographs using phones are allowed only on condition that you will do so from where you are seated. If your phone cannot capture from afar, you will get it through other means. Thank you so much. Nidano mi makakeni eni wadano makakeni mandia washonea kabedu beshe remiwa don welo moku tie mo ai kama bor kawa nenu ngetwa watero kaweko kabedu igi mana be washonea dano moku gitie ko simu Simu mania kibegi mako kudushal na wabe metungo le miwo tuka mako shal Diye barkae Tekitie kusimu kiri Wakwero ngo Ento wikude kaka amitie yekusha Eigame mako shal kukakecha Kao ngo Ibikoro ibine shal na yore matongtong bibini bing Wabikwa yonea wotu idie Bar kaka e ubed manok manda anda ofoyo kawinyo.
short while we shall begin the procession. We already request the priests to be at the gate of the bishop's house so that they connect up with the bishops to begin the procession. Ama ba camera ibe simwazi nyiria nyiria libe leba eda oduba diya i kini sadi malia bamodu eda bada bada ko eda duza bama kweri ba banoto agbari le madu eda di ini Amadige Izite Edora, Episcopi Madripi, Episcopi Aru, Di Echa Disad Sama Sele Abo, Afe Mine Awarifu Angiri, Mine Ovozu Ejere, Amane Itezo Asi Ejere Sirisi. Kawoni, Don Jupiscopi, Magitie Omegu, Pa lelja episcopi machi no donge daro tush inge karimano wape chicha ko procession watu limando ya ecclesia moa karimilo ega wapi kwa yoni ya kate kine tia kusimu itimu akisa inege chen ka ichungo kakete Yoru moku mania ebe de yu akinya leng leng eno. We shall request that when we begin the mass, you help us either to put off your phones if it doesn't have the vibration or the silent mode. But the silent mode will be preferable because sometimes some of our phones vibrate louder that there can be more of an earthquake to the neighborhood. So you could uh, put it on the silent mode. I can resume, Bani. Kuninyo kaitie kusimu. Ikonyoa. Inege. Kuninyo ke. Kete. Ka ngake moku go. Irichi, ili kendi reima, ili ngeo niya ngati mokende go. Don, kudi jol si mune ikin loa kenu. Ibi jole, manuangi ikadu wako, kuni nyoke inge lega koni. Yene koni, kakado, kawotu riu riu, karami lega wakwae niya bedu mbe. special wreaths. We shall have the laying on of wreaths. Those who have their special wreaths, you register with Mr. Pascal. This gentleman next to me here is going to be stationed down there. Uh, these wreaths or the flowers are uh, a sign of our love to the bishop but also they signify our perishability, our mortality, that our beauty is, but for a short while. And uh, because of that, for us in Nebi Catholic Diocese, the rule is that you bring for us real life flowers, not artificial flowers. If you have artificial flowers, because of their artificiality, they, are, they don't signify that immortality as such. So for that reason, if you have plastic flowers, you will help us, we shall use it another time, somewhere else for some other reason that 
will be better. A young manager of the Arakini, a Ika Mawa, a G, Leta Mini Episcopi Marwari, a Cesarani, a family of our Fangiri, if they are Mamani, Mawa, Mini G, Madria, a Yochi, a Sunisa, Jake, a man of Mawa, or Bazoria, a Mamia E, and Nimi Mawari, Bazo, Vini Fezep, Sopi Nila, Tamidu, and Azo Beni. Mawa, the Revini. Can a party for the area chatter? Kini Edri Amadri on you, Diri, Erinya Kudria, Sawa Waria Siri, and Egonisi, Amavo Nebicatu Lipidae Siria, Ama Totoni party for Kanekumawa, a Ada Adronio Ba, a B, EIOE, Ikadri Mawazi, Banita, Karatasi, Kaneko, Banitale. Plastics, the PA, Ani, a Ama, a E. Kini, Imba Tanichi, Mia Mui Fiamani, Miss Amavuti, Amamayayo, Ejo, Azidi, Jezu E. A Kai Bilu, Kutiwe, Kunioke, Ature, Minu to Mar Peri, Ni Japiscopi, Wakwayo near a Kiteri Nigi. Ibang Jadid Pascal Etie Pink Akecha Karawange Upiri Tiwe Etie La Nyut Mimar Don Kai Kelo Ibinyu Tumar Peri Nijapi Sopi Kode Tiwe Bende Nyutunia Homwa Malain Manen Mamil Chal Ature Enu Bedu Ingoma Eni Pikare Moku Bedu Go Pinaka Dong pilande maeni, wabewa kwayo wan wajumini di Catholic Diocese ni atiwe ne gibedi tiwe maeni mamungu chuyo ma ini jago kodi po du moko ungo kodi tiwe moko madam dong kawoni chuyo ko karatasi gi kudwa ngogeno yen gi nyutu ngo la nyutu mania kwa mwai bedu pikare mano. Don wakwayo ni ya ebe di tiwe maandani ya inge ni domoko echo kune Manyutu ni ya kwa mwa eni kari nangu ebe di lengu kani Kakara ne romu ebi neri man ebi toa Kaiti ya kutiwe ne moko majuni chuyu kukara tasi na Ibi guwako kon inge misa wabiti ya kugipi lembe mokende Wafoyo chire wafoyo hide pi marama eni moko nangu ike yupi Chani ngeish minge ongo So during the Mass, normally there are certain parts of the Mass that are sung, and so we are going to sing them together. If the deacon intones, then we have to respond as the faithful. So we begin. At the time of the Gospel, the deacon might tell us, The Lord be with you. Then we respond, and with your spirit. So we try together, the Lord be with you. So it is not only for the choir, it is for all the Christians. So we are all to respond. So, the Lord be with you. Again, the Lord be with you. And then he might continue a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. So we try that again. Glory to you, O Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. So the words are glory to you, O Lord. So, glory to you, O Lord. Wacheke Karachelo, all of us. 
Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. So there are others like the Amen. We ask this Lord, Lord Jesus Christ who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. So, Amen. Karachi, hello. this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Then at the end of the Mass, the deacon might sing for us in Latin. P.D. Respond, Deo, gracias, Deo, gracias, Nia, Wafoyo, Mongo, thanks be to God, Wadifo, and Rani. So, what I'm gonna share, it. of the nature of the weather in the event that uh, you feel naturally inconvenienced within yourself. We have places of convenience at the media center. You can move there. The people in charge of security will uh, direct you accordingly depending on how you explain yourself according to the nature of the inconvenience you feel within yourself. Uh, within here, we have some places under those eucalyptus trees. They can also help you to sort yourself out. Yes. Abe uh, Wachunia, P. Lembe pa kumke ino angunia kumi de benji lembe moko magibegi banjo komuno wati eku kabe de moko te talafuru cha gicha gicha aneno danu moko ibe kuale regi beshi tu esha ka Inuili kumecha, ichidi kakecha. E, watie ku kabedi weni gimoku, your media sender. Kaya ichidi kakecha, asarde biko nyi, niya ichidi otinema cha, kunuma no, kitima inyutire, mani inyutu peku peri, kude igi kakecha. Ejo e, uruwebri nisi, E, Ruoka lemi tipe paria zia ruome ya usiani e, Angwazi pati meti oda Ane bazi yo gurumuzo ala ni adaleda e, Mivini mecho minze e, jerera Arisikuni muta ande adaleri Ere onyiruri ya baloni muzu isiri ya Baloni muzu isiri ka 
e, kaniku mecho vini mu angwazi bana mve media center road amali ya dara e, askari idachi ejo nde media ma miru dale ngoni are milo eini da e, yani mu echemini imungole afa miruani le mi majeri jezo ani benero e sa wede mavuti ya madie mi sedora e, amavu ngonde awadi fo eritasi Why?
let us all prepare to begin the mass the procession is about to begin so we ask the choir to begin for us the entrance song
Jesus blessing on the casket, the Christian symbols. We have the symbol of the cross, the Bible, the Word of God. and the ball. the Holy Spirit be with you all. May we be seated for a while. We shall have for now, the reading of the biography, and now I invite the Vicar General to do that for us. Thank you. Your Grace, the main celebrant and fellow mourners, Allow me, on behalf of the Bishop Ordinary, the Right Reverend Raphael Pumon Wakuraj, and on behalf of Navy Catholic Diocese, and on behalf of the whole Catholic Church, let me say, on behalf of the whole humanity, 
to read for you the biography of the late Right Reverend Martin Luluga, Bishop Emeritus of the Navy Catholic Diocese. Bishop Meritus Martin Luga was born on March 1st, 1933 at Ludonga Arua Diocese to Mr. Muse Mark Lea and Mama Isolina Asendra he was the second child in a family of three sons and six daughters. He was baptized on March 5th, 1933 and received his first Holy Communion on January 3rd, 1943 and his confirmation on March 28th, 1943. His early education. He attended Ludonga Primary School for his primary level and Lashaw Seminary for his secondary philosophical and theological studies. His priestly life. He was ordained priest on June 1st, 1963 at Ludonga minor basilica by bishop angelo tarantino the bishop of arua by then his first assignment was to olepi parish as a curate and for about six months when he stayed there he had to let the parish Later, he was transferred to Lugiri Parish. In 1969, he was sent to Rome at the International Center for Pastoral Theology, and he obtained a diploma in social sciences. And at Father Lombard Center for a Better World, for diplomatic relations from studies when he came back to the diocese of Arua he was appointed Basa at St. Peter and Paul Pokaya Minor Seminary Arua on May 7th 1972 he was appointed Vicar General of Arua Diocese and given the title Monsignor and he continued to work as Basa for Pokea Minor Seminary. Between 1979 and 1983 they moved to Congo because of war with some priests religious sisters and Christians of Arua Diocese. There, he attended to their pastoral, spiritual, as well as some of their material needs. We could say he was in charge of the community that moved to Congo because of war. In 1983, when they returned to Uganda from Congo, Monsignor Martin Luluga was posted to Uganda Matters National Seminary, Alokulum in Gulu, and was appointed by Uganda Episcopal Conference as the General Spiritual Director and a lecturer of spiritual theology. In 1986, he was called back to Arua Diocese by his bishop and appointed as the Diocesan Treasurer. His Episcopate. 
on October 17, 1986, he was elected by Pope John Paul II as the Auxiliary Bishop of Gulu Diocese and the titular Bishop of Akwe in Dacia. On January 11, 1987, he was ordained Bishop in Gulu Cathedral Church. And then Bishop of Gulu Diocese was the principal consecrating bishop and the right Reverend Cesera Asili, the then Bishop of Gulu Diocese, and the right Reverend Frederick Dandrova were the co consecrating bishops. In 1988, Pope John Paul II appointed Bishop Martin Luluga, the Apostolic Administrator of Guru Diocese. On February 8, 1990, John Paul II appointed him the Bishop Ordinary of Guru Diocese and was installed on April 12, 1990. On January 2, 1991, John Paul II appointed Bishop Martin Luluga, Bishop Ordinary of Nebi Diocese, and he was installed on April 1999. On February 8, 2011, Bishop Martin Luluga retired being the Bishop Ordinary of Nebi Diocese and opted to have his own residence to live in. On Saturday, July 30th, 2022, this year, last month, at about 9.20 a.m., Bishop Emeritus, Martin Luluga was called by the Lord from this earthly vessel. May the good Lord bless his soul in eternal peace. Amen. His sickness. In 2015, Bishop Emeritus Martin Luluga was diagnosed with a terminal heart problem high blood pressure or hypertension at Uganda Heart Institute Mulago Hospital and recommended by the doctor for a permanent pacemaker. The diocese had to order this machine for him from South Africa. On July 8, on July 15, 2016, the permanent pacemaker implementation implantation of the heart. The machine is still with up to now. From this day on, Bishop Martin had monthly medical reviews in the same hospital Mulago, accompanied by Reverend Father Aloysius Oriem, who was assigned when he was still a deacon to attend to Bishop Martin Luluga and his driver, David Jashan. In April 2022, Bishop Martin began experiencing swelling on his feet, but could move with it. Even he attended some religious functions like crazy mass on April 13, 2022. He also attended all sessions of Episcopal Conference in June this year. He was present when Ofaka Parish, a new parish, 
was open on June 25th, 2022. However, early July 2022, big wounds rapidly developed, especially from his heels covering the wall of his feet, especially the right foot, while the left leg had some dark dotted scars like spots. On Thursday, July 20th, 22, Bishop Martin was taken to Mulago Hospital, accompanied by Father Luis Suriem and his driver. From on Friday, July 20, July 22nd, 2022, and Monday, July 25th, 2022. Para checkups were done on him. He was diagnosed with kidney failure and given treatment for a week. Then he would return for review. On Tuesday, July 25th, 2022, they came back to the diocese and immediately his caretaker, Father Aloysius Suriem, reported to us about the condition of the Bishop Emeritus. On Friday, July 29, 2022, around 8, 10, 8, 10 minutes past 8, the Vicar General visited the Bishop. The Bishop was quite sober, except he was experiencing severe pain on the right leg where the wounds were much. The Vicar General anointed him and gave him Holy Communion and suggested to him to be taken to Angal Hospital that day. But the Bishop told the Vicar General he would discuss about this the next day. In the evening around 8 p.m., the Vicar General and the Chancellor and a team of medical doctors from Navy Hospital came to check on the Bishop and found he was resting after his supper and his drugs. They did not wake him up. However, shortly after these people had left Bishop's residence, a team of Medical personnel from Angal Hospital also came to check on him. On Saturday, July 30th, 2022, at 8.12 a.m., the Vicar General and a team of two medical personnel went to check on the bishop. As they were on the way, the caretaker, his cook, the cook of the bishop, called the vicar general, informing him about the deteriorating conditions of the bishop. On arrival, the vicar general to give him holy communion, but found him unconscious. His driver, who was with him, tried to call him, but could not respond. And then the medical personnel entered to check on him. At 9.20 a.m., the medical personnel, led by Dr. Jonathan, declared to us that the Bishop Emeritus was no longer breathing. We then went in and commented him to the Lord. We request the medical personnel to prepare him for further management. They prepared him and took him for further investigations. They confirmed that Bishop Emeritus died of multiple organs failure. Appreciations. As a diocese, we cannot do much more than 
we did to save Bishop's life. Now, can we remain silent without saying a big thank you? First and foremost, to God for the life, gift, and work of Bishop Emeritus Martin Luluga to maybe Catholic Diocese for 12 solid years, from 1999 to 2011. Secondly, to Bishop Emeritus Luluga, Martin Luluga himself, for diligently executing his vocation as a good shepherd with the motto, God is love. He has run his race to the finish, gentleness and peace. He was a visionary leader, a role model, wise administrator, dedicated and committed chief pastor who served God with love and humanity with great care, fidelity, compassion, generosity, and focus. He was a man of development, the cathedral, administration block, Centenary Bank, maybe branch, and many other projects speak loudly without much say about Bishop Martin Luluga. He had special concern for priest health, conducive presbyteries and churches. He was a man of nature and field work. Trees around our bishop residence down there and around the cathedral are his work. This ceremonial ground used to be his maze field. Thank you, Papa Bishop Martin. Thirdly, to the medical teams of Uganda Heart Institute Mulago, especially Dr. Andrea Jacinto, I hear is around. Yes, he there. We thank Nurse Sibia and Jane Francis Mondoro, with whom you are working on Bishop. From before the implant of the pacemaker up to July 25th, 2022, when the Bishop went for review and when you told him to come home for a week. We are also very grateful to the medical team of Navy Hospital, led by Dr. Jonathan. He was the one who declared to us that the bishop had his last breath. Jonathan, I think, is around also. Then we have Mr. Savior here, who was working closely with Dr. Jonathan. We are grateful to Administrator Peace and Mr. Ozea, the in charge of the last room, the in charge of Moshari, for the latest part of the management of the late Bishop Emeritus. We are also grateful to the medical team of Angal Hospital for setting on the Bishop on his sick bed. Fourthly, and in a very special way, we would like to extend our appreciation to Father Loisus Surian, who took care of the bishop till his last days. To his driver, David Jashan, who was with the bishop always, his cook, Bosco Apango, to Sister Catherine Akidi of the Little Sisters of Mary Immaculate of Gulu. We are grateful to Honorable Mavenjina Kumu Catherine. Whenever the bishop went for review, Catherine Mavenjina would shake on him. And Mr. Jotayonto and family who took bishop as their child and often helping him. A very 
We thank you to His Grace John Baptist Odama for his person, for personally spending most of your time and energy giving us direction on what to do when we lost our dear bishop. We are grateful to your lordships Sabino Odoki and Santos Lino who, learning of the demise of Bishop Emeritus, personally were completely in touch with us. We thank you, Bishop Santo Lino Wanok, for the pacemaker you bought for our Bishop Martin when he was dis uh, discovered with heart failure. Thank you to the Uganda Episcopal Conference for all the support, moral, financial, spiritual, material you are coded to Bishop Martin and to maybe Catholic diocese when our bishop especially was not in the country. A big thank you to the siblings, relatives, friends, and all those who supported Bishop Martin in one way or the other. Last but not least, to the Diocesan Authority who provided for his upkeep after his retirement and for his treatment. And all of you who have come to share with us in the life of Bishop Martin as we send him off today, thank you. We continue to say thank you very much. We appreciate you. We thank you for showing solidarity with us. May God bless you. Bishop Martin enjoyed personal readings and telling stories and followed events of times both within and outside the diocese. He was a man of his time. He loved nature, land, most of our land have title because of the bishop was a man interested in gardening, tree planting, and flowers. He loved the education of the young, and he loved ongoing formation of priests, and educated many people as well. He spent much of his time with people, and more especially the elderly. He was a promoter of vocations in all aspects. He had a lot that speak about him. Our prayer for him is, may the good Lord, who we serve for all his life, raise his soul in eternal peace. May we now rise up as to continue with the Mass. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge that we are sinful people and accept God's mercy to have an effect on us by confessing. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts, thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, what I have said to do, through my thoughts, through my words, through, 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 through my most precious thoughts. Therefore, I ask that Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. O oh God, who chose the seven bishop, Martin Luger, from among your priests and endowed him with pontifical dignity in the apostolic priesthood, grant we pray that he may also be admitted to their company forever. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed, in the view of the foolish, to be dead, and their passing away was that was that an affliction. And they are going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace. For if to others indeed they seem punished, yet in their hope full of immortality, chastise a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of Himself. As gold in the finance, he proved them, and as a sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their judgment, they shall shine, and that about sparks through stubble. They shall, they shall judge them, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love. Because of grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with the elect. The word of the Lord.
a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. For I am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at the hand. I have competed well. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day. And now only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The word of the Lord.
at that time, seeing the crowds, Jesus went up on the mountain, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him, and, when, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you, and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. The Lord is good and all the time. My fellow brother bishops, fellow priests, the religious men and women, all the dignitaries in your various positions. I know invited was a brother of mine, Archbishop Emeritus of Church of Uganda, Opio Odon, you are most welcome to this day. All the parents the relatives of the departed brother Bishop Martin, all leaders in the local villages, if they would, Keralu, Tie Kai, Ajolo 
parents, the young people, those I call Nini Nini, yes, forget from Gulu is also here. After the Nini Nini, we have those in the hands, the children in the hands of their mothers. Above all, the children in the wombs. I welcome all of you as humanity on this occasion. This is a unique event in the life of the church or maybe in the ecclesiastical province of Gulu in Uganda and also in the Catholic Church and I can add without hesitation for humanity what is happening here is the word of God. God is present and he wants to speak us through the little items that are forming this event. The great title of it, he says, I am love and I love each one of you one by one. Nobody is exempted. By God's providence, this was the motto of the late. God is love. And he said, those who abide in his love, they abide in him. So we are gathered here as his beloved to witness a departure of one of the human beings I don't know what you and would be recording as this one departs from the population of the world. I'm sure they will take note of it that one of the human beings has passed on or has departed. We had the history of the life of the deceased. Many good things he did. I'm sure among them also there were some failures as human being. And he often asked mercy from God. The late Bishop Martin Luluga is unique in my life. I was a small boy at a lot at a St. Peter's, St. Peter's and Paul in Pokea, when he was a treasurer there, we used to see him with his late friend and a brother, Father Joseph Uyulu. These people really loved each other, and we were impressed by their way of living. They were not yet ordained, but they were ordained later on said, oh, if this is what it means to be a major seminarian, then we should do it like that. And later also as priest. So he was my teacher also. Two, in the life of Bishop Rick, he was my predecessor. He was an elder to me. He was ordained bishop before me and uh, also given a diocese before me. Gulu. After two years and a half, I was ordained bishop, appointed here in uh, Nebi as the first bishop. Just two years and a half, people were asking, what is the matter now? The Pope is trans has started transferring bishops with ours. 
You've only stayed two years and a half. You have been visiting us and even sleeping with us in the villages. Some were calling me Bishop Charo. I said, never mind. <laughs> but he's a bishop sleeping in the bush there. Just two years and a half, he was appointed Bishop of Nebi. And I was to succeed him in Gulu. So, doubly, my being pre his being my predecessor in Gulu and my successor in Nebi. How do you combine these two things? <laughs> predecessor and successor of the same person. <laughs> for me, I thank God very much. God, thank you very much for me to have experienced this. And now, more interestingly, <laughs> the one who succeeded me, according to the tradition, he should be younger than the one who is his boss, if it was anything, his parent. Now, I'm the one burying him. Can you imagine this? I'm the one burying my my teacher, my predecessor, yes, but also my successor. I would have said to God, why don't you wait? He could have stayed longer. But that's the way of God. And indeed, all this shows how much God loves. I don't take it ill. I don't take his departure ill. I don't curse God for it. I don't even question God for it. I don't ask him, why have you done this? No. Except I see his love being shown to the departed and to me and to us all. Three things, very important, according to the three readings we are being told. One, from the book of wisdom, we are told a person who belongs to God and he lives in intimacy with God, no matter whatever conditions he goes through in life, whether good or rough, as we had heard about the late, he was even in exile in 1983. And he was also in a terrible situation in Gulu during the insurgency which he handed over to me <laughs> all those situations my late brother and my elder accepted to live in them with patience with humility and with faith and the hope and the love So God says, no matter whatever condition you go through as his person, as his beloved, don't worry. You will live and conquer all this. And finally, you will have, what do you call it? Eternal rest. Eternal life. This reminds me about Pope John Paul II. When he was being asked by some journalists, he said, hey, your Holiness, but you are difficult now in movie, you are getting old, why don't you retire and rest? Then he told them, he said, you have asked a very, very good question, but the answer is not difficult. What shall I do when I'm dead? <laughs> when I'm dead, I shall be resting. So why do you ask me to retire and while well, God is giving me work to do? Even if I'm living, I'm moving on a wheelchair, he still wants me to work in that situation. Indeed, he did it. Number two. God provided standard of living for us. What was the was, was termed beatitudes, eh? Beatitudes. 
Very interestingly. The starting point is poor in spirit. Poor in spirit. If you are poor in spirit, you are a lucky person, you are a happy person. But people misinterpret this statement, thinking that it is really those who are very poor, they don't have anything to depend on, those are lucky people. No, it's not like that. That is a wrong interpretation. The correct interpretation by God's principle is this. Look at me, God. All what is in the world is mine, including your life. I did not cling to luck to myself only. Oh no. My life, I wanted to share it with all those I have created. That is what it means. Poor in spirit. Voluntary giving of oneself for the good of others. For example, we have things like many of us are intelligent. All of us, I would say here, who are here. We are all intelligent. How much do we share that intelligence with others? He said some boast about it. That I'm better than you. You are not better than me. Only that God gave you the chance to be where you are. Can you share that with me? Eh? What about being, I call it, knowledgeable? Yes, it's very close to intelligence. Yes. How much do we share this knowledge we have? Even with now social, social being, or what should they call it? Uh, yeah, social media. It is so abundant, except that people misuse it to misinform people with the lies instead of giving the truth about what is happening. So that is misuse of our knowledge. Then you have what we call social standing. We are here all in different levels of social standing. Some are leaders, some are parents, some are political leaders, some are cultural leaders, some are religious leaders, some are community leaders, parents who are leaders. How do we use this role of leadership? Is it to update people? Is it to lift them, to lift them up or not? Money. Somebody told me, you people who have the computers and so on, you find out if, by your Googles. Somebody said, the world, the wealth of the world is controlled by eight people. Only eight. You will check that, find it out. How much are those people sharing this wealth, which is the wealth given by God to the world? Because they came naked to the world. All what they have is what God gave them. Are they thinking of others? Huh? Are you thinking of others? Hey. And our time, we have time. Do we give enough time for others? We had, we had the late who was also giving time for others, listening to them and trying to see what to do about this. Has anyone ever thanked you for the time you gave for him or for her? Have you? Has anyone ever received that thanks from anyone you met and said, thank you for your time for me? That self-giving for others is what they call voluntary poverty. Voluntary poverty, which the owner of this life is God himself. God is the one 
and selfish. If he was, if he was selfish, our number would be very small now. Oh yes, he would have said, ah, these people are multiplying too much. They use them by saying, no, I'm not giving any more lives to people. So what would the parents be doing? I don't know. That's the reality of it. So this style of living is not a choice. It is for every human being, but above all for Christians. You be leaders in showing this kind of unselfish love, unselfish spirit, voluntary poverty for the sake of fellow human beings. I wish this was a day I would be giving this talk here, or this homily. I would have taken the whole, the whole day for it. But I know my brothers who came from Kampala are saying, when is Archbishop finishing this? We want it to be quick because we have to fly back. Hey! The pilot, be patient also. <laughs> those who mourn, those who mourn, these are people who desire justice to be done, but they are mistreated. They are mistreated. Nobody, no one is paying attention to them. God says, don't worry, I am there myself. I've seen those who are doing injustice to you, who are really causing all harm to you, who robbed you and all that. And meekness is not that he's too humble to repay. No. He says, I have known who is doing wrong to me, but I'm not going to revenge and I'm not going to keep any anger or hatred for this person. I'm going to say, God, you know it all. The merciful. Mercy is a characteristic of God. He gives it to the sinner. The one who needs most of his really uplifting. And that is what he wants his children also to practice among themselves. Mercy. There are many people who are in need. Those who have done wrong to us. Some of them even beg pardon. Please forgive me. Do we forgive them? And that's the homework for us. Clean of heart. God is holy. He's clean. He wants his children to be clean in the heart. The way of living with him and with others must be clean. On clean level. Clean contact, clean talk, clean socialization, clean of everything, so that what we do should not debase God, should not debase us. Then, peace. Oh, yeah, he puts it, peacemakers. Yeah, I'm a peacemaker, God, myself. I'm a peacemaker. I don't want fighting, I don't want... I don't want killing. I don't want anything of violence. What I love are this. Relationship with me is a relationship of harmony. A relationship with, within yourself, within yourself, my son. Where do you put the gift of peace I've given you? Where is it? Is it in your heart? Is it in your life? Where is it? Keep it. I am in harmony with you. You are in harmony with me. Be also harmonious within yourself. And in fact, anyone who causes trouble is in disharmony with himself or herself. Then, relationship with our neighbors, harmonious. All this. Somebody the other day was saying, Look at the, at the eyes of your friend next to you. Maybe on your right or on your left. Try to look at that eye or those eyes. Are they beautiful or are they handsome? I don't know which is which. And he says, be harmonious with that person who is next to you. Either on your left or on your right. 
and then be harmonious with the environment. I have, I have created all these things with a very, very fundamental relationship. Relationship with you, with the trees and so on, is so important because they give you oxygen. Is it by day or by night? You know it better than me. He gives us oxygen while we give them the carbon dioxide. And then at a certain time, he reverses it. What a wonderful relationship. You trees, if we have done wrong to you, forgive us, please. <laughs> forgive us. We need to multiply you more than what we have done so far. <laughs> then he finally says, those who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, wonderful, be there, stay there. Don't repay the evil with the evil. It does not make anything, the equation correct. Wrong, you cannot correct it by another wrong. You leave the wrong on him or on her. But keep your goodness. Finally says, all those of you, my children, who will be persecuted for my sake because I believe in God, I believe in Jesus Christ, I believe in the Holy Spirit, because I'm doing this, please make it be not overcome by anything else except I. I am your God. So the last reading, which is the second, which Paul was telling to what was telling to Timothy is the third concluding point. In a way he was saying, now my life is getting finished. The life on earth is about to go. I'm going. But the good thing is this. I've completed my race. I've been running with the people. Those who were doing evil, I was running next to them who wanted to overcome me with the evil. I defeated them. I completed my race successfully. I finished my race. Now I am going. What I'm waiting for is a crown now. I defended the faith. The faith in Jesus Christ, I defended it despite all the evils, all the challenges I received. I defended them. Now, I am going. Timothy, you are a young man now. Take over. I'm giving the mantle to you now. Huh? Take the race. Take the race. Let evil not overcome where you are, you are a bishop. Don't betray the faith. Keep it alive. Keep changing and challenging the people who are the believers in Jesus Christ until they reach at the end. As I'm now going for my reward. And I think that is what we should say to our, our father or our grandfather or our friend or our teacher whoever you felt he was for you, this is the time to say, may God crown you, please. Bishop Martin Luluga, may you rest with God now in eternal peace. Amen.
May we now stand up to offer our prayers and petitions to God. Let us in faith call upon God the Almighty Father, who raised Christ his Son from the dead, as we pray for the salvation of the living and the dead. We shall respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For Bishop Martin, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that he now be admitted to the company of the saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord our For our brother, Bishop Martin, who served the church as a bishop, that he may be given a place in the liturgy of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord our For the family and friends of our brother, Bishop Martin, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our deceased relatives and friends, and for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord. May the prayer of those who cry to you benefit the souls of your servants, O Lord. Free them, we pray, from all their sins and make them share us in your redemption. Through Christ our Lord. We shall be seated and they in the due course bring in our offerings that we shall together with the offerings of bread and wine offer to God for the soul of our beloved father Bishop Martin. May I request the seminarians in the castle to come and help us receive the offerings from the congregation you make your offering in the basket nearer to you oni mbe chair chair mama eh mi chair peri any tie chair mi misa bibol chair peri ikatoko mutie kago kuri sawadi sa ma owi misa ni rowi eh if o wita mi diri Anzi dini seminari anzi di madre e ife a mi a gaia o gogorivo bere o vita misere i ka fase gia mani minre ro kani ko siruane mi dom perife e zit a punia o bore apu tiani.
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O oh Lord, we pray. The offering gifts we, the sacrificial gifts we offer for the soul of your servant, Bishop Martin, that as you accorded him the pontifical dignity in this world, so may you command him to be ab admitted to the company of your saints in the heavenly kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone, He accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying as one man, he chose to die, so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so, in the company of the choirs of angels, we praise you as with, with joy we proclaim.
holy. Oh Lord, the font of all holiness, make holy. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending up your spirit upon them like a default, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, faith, and hope. Together with Francis, our Pope, and all the bishops, and all the clergy. Remember your servant and bishop, Martin Luruga, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and the form by his teaching, let us say the prayer he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. those within the Catholic faith who are well disposed to receive the body of Christ, we shall request that you wait to communicate from the priest who will come closest to you so that we avoid the burden of uh, moving up and down. New Megu, Puny Megu Moa, Magiti, Yish, me Ecclesia Catholica, ma, you bear my bear, me Noango, Compa Christo, Abiquire near Ibedica, ma, any Asia, Cadom, Ivichima, Cumunio, a bang, Padre Cunino, a deacon, Mobino, a go. Ibeni, Wekara, Wodu, Makama Bor, Berupe, Madripima Vupi, Amaba, Aita Ecclesia Catholica, Ni, Di Maria, Rotopira, Tasipi, Rua, Christo de Resuzuri, Amamia Ikini, Ite Pariminio Azuriada, Medero Yemu, Eucharistia Esu, Padre, a mopi mevo of Gogwa, then a revo. When I near Chizu, a zo canico, a Chizu, Ruandra, Duadale, Duadale, Kubeni. Those who have umbrellas, you can kindly help us to provide shade for those who are going to distribute the body of Christ. Thank you for the quick response. I've seen some people already responding. Thank you. Eh, can you see a blue umbrella? Moko manang mi pinu. Ipat. Ichoko pa nyo kami tipo ni. Yo pa dere kuni nyo dikon magi ba kimi nyo umuni ano ge apoy.
let us pray. We pray, Almighty and merciful God, that as you made your servant, Bishop Martin, an ambassador for Christ on earth, so may you raise him, purified by his sacrifice, to be seated with Christ in heaven, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. All dear mourners, I want to appreciate your presence here on behalf of the bishops, particularly the Bishop of Nebi. Two, I have one major announcement. Some of you may have heard already this year, on the 20th of November, we shall have one of the human beings who was a Comboni missionary being raised to the level of blessed at Calon in the Gulu Archdiocese. Those who can make it it will be also most welcome. I'm sure he will be grateful to you. And those who can also give some hands to support the preparation, most welcome too. So I will be giving now the final blessing to conclude this Mass, after which other items will follow. I would invite God's blessing upon his people. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dear mourners, we want to thank you very much for praying together in this sacrifice of Mass. And most especially, we thank His Grace, the Archbishop, John Baptist Odama, for leading us through this Mass. Thank you very much. From after here, we shall have the Bishop Ordinary of Navy Catholic Diocese, who will invite the Bishop Chairman 
of the Episcopal Conference to say a word. And after that, we shall go for the final commentation and the laying on of the wreaths. After the laying on of the wreaths, we shall have the procession to the burial ground. And after the burial, we shall come back here to have the speeches. But because the burial ground and the space is so little, we shall only ask some few representatives to go to witness the burial. Meanwhile, the rest of us will keep praying from here as we wait for the burial to be done and have the speeches and the reception thereafter. So in the interest of time, with the humility, may I therefore invite the Bishop Ordinary, Bishop Raphael Okoraj Kumoy, to come and uh, invite to say a word, and thereafter invite the Bishop Chairman of the Episcopal Conference also to make some remarks. Thank you. Praise the Lord. First of all, I want to reiterate the thanks also to the presiding uh, bishop of this mass, His Grace John Baptiste Odama. We thank you very much. A moment like this may appear as a moment of sadness, but as it was already indicated, I believe the grace has touched us and turned things to make it be a moment of joy and grace. Death occurs and in this death we find that we have met many friends that we never met for a long time. And this is where I see the great grace of God in our, in our midst. Most of the priests I met a long time ago have just met them, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 years ago. It is today that I met. Probably some of you have the same similar experience. Maybe also the others. Well, now I would like simply to pass a word of thanks before I invite the chair of the conference, Episcopal Conference. His Lordship, the Reverend Anthony Zewa. Chairman Uganda Episcopal Conference and the Bishop Ordinary of Mitana, Mitiana Catholic Diocese and also all the bishops present here. We welcome you. I should have done this at the beginning of the Mass but because of time that was pressing we went straight to here the history of the bishop who has passed on. And so I welcome you as chair representing all the bishops in Uganda, Catholic bishops in Uganda. In this time, I want to pass special appreciation to His Holiness the Pope for his special message of condolence, heartfelt gratitude also to the Nuncio, Apostolic Nuncio, for the words of encouragement to us in this hard time. Special tribute to all of you present here as bishops. Your Grace, John Baptist Odama, we thank you dearly, for from the very time you heard of the death of Bishop Martin, you feel the great gap that my absence 
from the diocese have created and to give all the fatherly and fraternal advice required and personally came to see things move in the right direction. I thank your office too for the great assistance that we received. I am thankful to Bishop Sabino Odoki and Arua Diocese as a whole who helped our diocese Diocese and office a great deal from the moment the news about the demise of the Bishop Emeritus was passed out. Thanks for your brotherly concern and personally coming to direct our office on ground. May God bless you on your trip. Thanks to Bishop Santos for the brotherly concern and coordination in this same matter. I thank in particular the medical workers from Lago, Nebi and Angal who labored so much within their limits for the life of our father, the Bishop Emeritus. And in a particular way, I want to make mention of Dr. Amandua Jacinto as also the, the Vicar General presented to us. To thank also nurses Sylvia Nyayo and Jane Francis Mundoro. We want to thank in a particular way Father Losio Soriem. I remember the last day I met Bishop Martin in Kampala. We had breakfast together and Father Losio was there and they had gone for the ordinary regular medical and uh, medical checkups at that breakfast bishop said this breakfast i've taken is enough the rest i will take at 10 30 then lunch this was the last word i had with him face to face we thank father losius for accompanying all these years we thank david his driver and some people including Megu Catherine Novengina. I think Novengina, Honorable Novengina, had a personal attention to Bishop Martin all this time. And also when Novengina was elected as the representative of the elderly in the parliament, Bishop made a mention, now I am in the right place with you. From 2015, Bishop has been journeying with pain. And all those who, in one way or another, assisted Bishop, he never forgot to make mention of them, more especially when I paid him visit. And we want always to recall and thank them in a particular way. Apart from being the second bishop of Navy Catholic Diocese, Bishop Emeritus has been a father to me and to many in this diocese. And beyond the grandfather who tirelessly gave his life for his diocese. I personally owe Bishop Emeritus Martin a special consideration. He sent me to the minor seminary for care, and he also ordained me priest. Looking at the priest present here, it made me recall that Bishop Martin touched lives of many. In a local room, he was our teacher, and for many, I believe he was their spiritual director. Today, we accompany him and honor the good work he did all his time as a minister of the church. His works are a testimony of his life. They say almost all what is simple and keen in his, in, is very attentive in every little detail of his work.
He will rarely speak a lot about himself. But when you see the work he did, there were many that speak a lot about him. And I think that is the irony for which you think he is a great man. Man of keen attention. He can read one's mind simply. As it was said, he loved nature. Trees around this residence, in front of us, is Bishop Martin's work. We thank you, Bishop Martin Luluga, for going ahead of us in promoting green evangelization. Appreciation also goes to the COC members, the parishes, and all those who have labored to make our beloved bishop accorded a decent send-off. May God bless you all. When we consider the life of those who faithfully followed Christ, we are inspired with a new reason to seek the new city, the heavenly Jerusalem, where millions of the saints and the angels of Christ await us with joy. We are most safely taught the path by which, amidst the changing and passing things of this world, we remain steadfast and firm on our lane of race to the finish. Amid this unbearable pain, our father, our grandfather Martin, the Bishop Emeritus, leaves this as a message for all of us. This time has come. So may we go in peace and in turn pray for us. Always. Amen. Bishop Martin Luluga was a friend of the Franciscans. He invited the Franciscan brothers to this diocese and has started a special program to promote the spirituality of environment and farming. I think this is a remarkable gift to the diocese. This morning, too, I met San Franciscan nuns who presented themselves as special friends of Bishop Martin Luluga. They came all the way from Jinja and Tororo just to pay this tribute. And because of them, I thought it is important that they stand, they stand in front of just people to see and they wave to them. They wanted to come and sing. They wanted even to present some gifts. But I told them, we don't have time. We can do that another day. Maybe where they are, they can sing and stand and wave to the people. <laughs> Lastly, today, August 17th, is the day when Bishop Martin Luluga ordained two of our priests. One is the Vicar General, Monsignor Osiga Jackson and Father Hercules. Bishop Martin Luluga ordained them on this day. And today they are celebrating 20 years of ordination. Congratulations. And I wish you all a joyful moment together. And I wish you journey mercies and God's blessings. And before we go, I would like simply to introduce to you the bishops present who have been celebrated with us. I start with the Bishop Anthony Zewa. He is the Bishop Chairman of the Uganda Episcopal Conference and Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Mitiana, Kinda Mitiana. I introduce to you Joseph, uh, Bishop Joseph Echiro. He 
Bishop Joseph is Bishop of Soroti. I introduce to you Bishop Damiano Giuseppe, is the Bishop of Moroto. I introduce to you Bishop Severius Jumba, who is the Bishop of Masaka. I introduce to you Bishop Sosten Ayekolo Ajiwa. He is the Bishop of Mahagi Diocese. I introduce to you Bishop Santos Linos Wanok. The Bishop of Lira Diocese. Finally, I introduce to you His Grace John Baptist Odama, whom you all know. The first Bishop of Navy Catholic Diocese. And now is the Bishop of the Archdiocese of Golo. I want to introduce to you Monsignor John Baptist Cauta, the Secretary General of the Episcopal Conference. I want to introduce to you the representative of the Archbishop of Kampala, Monsignor Kalumba. who was my teacher also. He used to be a very good footballer. <laughs> I believe he still. And I want to introduce to you Vicar's General, Castor Adeti, the Vicar General of Arua. <laughs> Monsignor Matthew Odongo, Vicar General of Gulo. We did Bishop Zewa, Anthony Zewa, the chair of the Episcopal Conference, Uganda, to come and address us. Welcome. Thank you very much, uh, Your Lordship, Raphael Wokoraj, Bishop of the Navy Catholic Diocese. As introduced, I stand here on behalf of the Uganda Episcopal Conference, the Catholic Bishops of, in Uganda. Allow me not to go through all the uh, protocol and simply say, my dear brothers and sisters, my fellow mourners. We convey our condolences to you as they have already been given in that small booklet. The Bishop of this diocese, the Archbishop and the Bishops of the of Guru Ecclesiastical Province, the clergy religious the lady, and all people of God for the big loss of the demise of Bishop Luruga. 
I received this news when I was away from the country. I was in Ghana attending the meeting for the bishops from perfect bishops from Africa, known as SECAM, Symposium of Ecclesiastic Symposium of Episcopal Conferences of Africa and Madagascar. I represented Uganda. So I did conveyed our message of the death of uh, Bishop Luluga, and I can say that the bishops, Catholic bishops in Africa, conveyed their condolences to us on the death of Bishop Luluga. I have also received condolence messages, message from the chairman of AMSEA, that is the association of member episcopal conferences of Eastern Africa. Uh, these are conferences from eight, eight countries from Eastern Africa. They convey condolences to us on the, on the death of our beloved bishop. I would like to thank you, Bishop Wokoraj, for your patience and letting us to participate in this Mass from the very start. We are sorry for the late arrival, but as you know, not all of us can control the skies. We are supposed to leave um, at uh, 8. However, we could not leave before we are cleared. And I think we are cleared at around 8.40 in the morning. We are supposed to spend about an hour and 20 minutes. I think we spent about an hour and 40 minutes. So that's why we arrived late. Thank you, Bishop Okorash and the team, for your patience in allowing us to participate from the very start of this celebration. I'm here to convey our condolences to you, which, as I have said, have been given in our small booklet. I'm not going to repeat what has been written. However, let me uh, extend from that paragraph where we said, Bishop Martin will be remembered for his qualities. Most notably, prudence in making decisions, easily approachable, punctuality, and simplicity. We have seen Bishop Ruruga as a great formator, not only formator of priests or future priests, but even I think all walks of life as we have received heard from the different testimonies. He has been a good administrator and above all a great shepherd. He is a man who has been very patient and enduring. As we have read from his biography, he started his work of formation in Lacho Seminary. He has been to seminaries and also as Bishop of Iniguru and here. Being a bishop or a rector or a staff member in a seminary is not Christmas every day. There are difficult times. And having shared with Bishop Luruga, he endured quite a lot. And I think that has helped him to be a great man as we talk about him. I would like to call or to use the words to describe um, Bishop Luruga, a man who has made silence speak. He has made silence speak. When he retired as Bishop of Catholic Diocese of Nebi, called him Emeritus, he continued his work as a shepherd. On the side of the Conference of the Catholic Bishops in Uganda, he continued to attend our meetings 
all the time. From my time as chairman of the conference, if I may recall, I'm not saying that I, I register at every meeting who attends, but I remember that I think he missed only once. And it was for health reasons. But even when he was weak, he could travel all the way on road to Nsambia, where we normally hold our meetings. He's a quiet man, but as I said, his silence speaks. We could discuss a number of issues. You see him listening attentively, but he would say nothing. He's a man who has had uh, humor, and I can say he was my friend. One time, he joked and said, now, you, why do you have such, such difficult names to pronounce? Talking about my names. He said that for some, he told me, he said, for some people, that name Ziwa with double Z is not easy to pronounce. And then you add on a Joseph, which is also problematic to some people. So he said that some people would call me Ziwa. Now, I take you back to the meetings. So when I saw him during the meetings, you have had a good point, but he has said nothing. And I wanted his silence to speak. So during break time, I, because I had told him that, okay, you call me Jiwa, I will also call you Jiwa. Not Iruga, but I call you Jiwa. So during that time, I would, I would, I would talk to him quietly. I would call him, I said, hey, Bishop Jiwa from Nebi, I want to see you. And I would go on the side and speak. And then that was a moment for me to seek wisdom from him. Those points which we had discussed, and yet he had remained quiet. And he would speak to me. For that, Bishop Luga, I would like to thank you. He was quiet, but sober in his thought, and he would give us advice on many things. When he was approached, he would be very open, and constructive in his uh, quality discussion. We thank him for that. We'd like to thank him for his love of nature. The MSA meeting which has been held in Dar es Salaam last month was on environment. But as Bishop Okorash has said, when you move around his residence, he has really, may I say, repaired what might have gone wrong with nature. As Archbishop Odamas was uh, apologizing to the trees around, I think Bishop Uruga did it already for us from the time he started planting trees, even when he was working on a stick. Thank you very much. Bishop Luruga. I would like to thank all of you for having come in such big numbers. At one time I was wondering as we are coming in for the Mass, I said, ah, are all these from Nebi Diocese? But then remembering I could see some whom I also had taught in, in Gaba and they don't come from this diocese. So I knew and it's not a fallacy, and unless they were excoordinated, <laughs> I knew that you were coming from those other dioceses, and so uh, on this occasion I have had also the opportunity to meet some of my, I, I, I may call them my former classmates, whom I taught, I call them classmates, the difference was, while they were looking at the blackboard, I was looking at the students, but we're in classroom. So, uh, thank God has given us this opportunity to meet again, and my dear brothers, the priests, thank you for coming, for honoring the great work that uh, Bishop Luruga did 
especially in the area of formation. Brothers and sisters, thank you for coming. Thank you for giving this, I even call it glorious farewell to Bishop Luruga. When I look at the people around here, I've been listening to the choirs, singing in different languages, and here are some languages very well. Thank you for coming from that far and for all that you have done. We continue to pray for him. We pray for Bishop Wokraj, the new bishop of Nebi, whom would even think that Mosei would be around to advise him, but has been with him for a very short time. Thank you, Bishop, for having taken care of him. Thank you all of you for loving Bishop Ruga to this moment. We pray for him. And let us uh, summarize by saying, let his silence continue to speak. Even here, your coming and what you are doing is making his silence speak. Let us retain the good things we have learned from him so that his legacy can continue to live on. May the soul of Bishop Martin Luga rest in eternal peace. Thank you very much, Bishop Chairman of the Episcopal Conference. May I now invite the Archbishop to who will lead us through the final commentation, and then after that he will lay the first wreath, and then the other people will lay theirs. The, according to the order that we have here. And the, after the laying on of the wreaths, we shall have the burial procession. And the, we shall have some few who will go to represent us at the burial ground. And as I said earlier, we shall request those of us who are not among those who will represent us there to remain around. It is not segregation that we, can, we, are, we are allowing few to go, but it is because the space is literal. Thank you. We shall only request the bishops to go with him, with the main celebrant, where the casket is, and the service. The rest of us can uh, attend to the prayers from where they are. We shall have the first read laid by the main celebrant, Archbishop John Baptist Odama. There will be a read laid by the chairman, bishop chairman of the Episcopal Conference, then the bishop ordinary of uh, Navy Catholic Diocese. We shall have a read laid by the government representative who will be laid by the Honorable Minister Obiga Kanye and the Honorable Minister Kuching Grace. And then we shall have the wreath laid by the head of the laity. Those will be laid by Honorable Catherine Akuma Benjina and Mr. Kaba Sam. I will continue the order after the prayers. And I will ask those who will be involved in the laying on of the wreaths 
already to be around and closer. With the faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently bring the body of our brother, Bishop Martin, to be buried in his human imperfection. Let us pray with confidence to God, who gives life to all things, that he will raise up his mortal body to the perfection and the company of the saints. May God give him a merciful judgment and forgive all his sins. May Christ the Good Shepherd lead him safely home to be at peace with God our Father. And may he be happy forever with all the saints in the, pres in the presence of the Eternal King. of the press, you can set your machines and leave them recording and you allow space for those behind you to see and visually witness what is happening. Thank you. We shall respond. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Present 
saints of God, come to his aid, come to meet him, angels of the Lord, receive his son and present him to God the Most High. May Christ, who hold you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to Abraham's side. Receive his son and present him to God the Most High. Give him eternal rest, O Lord, and may your light shine on him forever. Receive his son and present him to God the Most High. Father, into your hands we commend our brother Bishop Martin. We are confident that with all you have died in Christ, he will be raised to life on the last day and live with Christ forever. We thank you for all the blessings you gave him in this life to show your fatherly care for all of us and the fellowship which is ours with the saints in Jesus Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. Welcome our brother Bishop Martin to paradise and help us to comfort each other with the assurance of our faith until we all meet in Christ to be with you and with our brother Bishop Martin forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new eternal Jerusalem. May I request as we bishops here to impart our blessings upon his body as we say the prayer normally of recommending to him to eternal rest. Eternal rest given to him, O oh Lord, and let perpetual life shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. Eternal rest given to him, O oh Lord, and let perpetual life shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. Eternal rest given to him, O oh Lord, and let perpetual life shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. We shall have now the laying on of the wreaths. The first will be by the main celebrant, and then followed by, let me say, the bishops led by the bishop chairman of the Episcopal Conference. After the main celebrant, of the wreath laid by the bishop chairman together with the other bishops. Then we have the bishop ordinary of maybe Catholic diocese. The government representatives led by the two honorable ministers present. Then after them we can have all the MPs present. You could come as a team. The MPs present immediately after the honorable mission ministers. The head of the lady led by Honorable Catherine Akuma, these are doing it on behalf of the lady of Ganal. That is the lady from the Archdiocese of Gulu, comprising of Nebi, Arua, Gulu, and the Lira.
after the lady, after the honorable the, the, the honorable MPs, we have the head of the lady. Yes. And then after that we have the representative of the priests who will be led by the chairperson of the priests of Nebi diocese. If we have the chairperson of the priests from the other neighboring dioceses or representatives, they will join Father Albert Romchan, who is the chairperson of the priests from Nebi. After that, we have the representative of the religious men and women yes after the representative of the religious men and women i'm only seeing one sister going there have also some brothers we have religious houses here and then after that, we have the RDC of uh, Nebi. If there are other neighboring RDCs here, they could also join. After that, we have the family representatives. After the religious there, may have the RDC. Please, RDC, your team come closer. After the RDC, let us have the family representatives. The family representatives who come closer. After the family representatives, we have, there are people who have special rights. If you have them, you could come immediately after the family representatives. And as a rule for us within the Catholic Diocese, we emphasize that the rights you lay should really be the natural flowers so that they signify the, our immortality. There are these artificial flowers who apparently do not decompose and wither in any way as soon as we expect. So those who have risks, we, for the purposes of, uh, of uh, avoiding crowding, we expect some few representation, representation of those who have those special rights. The delegation from Kampala, you have been asked to go to the bishop's house. Yes, thank you. Now, from here, we shall have the procession, the burial procession today, burial ground. So as the procession is going on, 
as the procession is going to get organized, we have that uh, Yes, the other
celebrant. We are Christians and always happy to around. With us, we have
Wait, wait a little, and then we shall. They are blessing the grave. <laughs> Lord Jesus. But then three days you lay in the tomb. You made a hole in the graves of all who believe in you. And even though their bodies lie in the earth, they trust that they will, like you, rise again. Give our brother, Bishop Martin, peaceful rest in this grave. Until that day, when you, the resurrection and the life, will raise him up in glory. Then may he see the light of your presence, Lord Jesus, in the kingdom where you live forever and ever.
Since Almighty God has called our brother Bishop Martin from this life to himself, we commit his body to the earth from which it was made. Christ was the first to rise from the dead, and we know that he will raise up our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. We commend our brother, Bishop, to the Lord. May the Lord receive him into his peace and raise up his body on the last day. pray for our brother Bishop Mati to our Lord Jesus Christ and say in the resurrection and the life the man who believes in me will live even if he dies and every, ever, every living person who puts his faith in me will never suffer eternal death he was nourished with your body and blood and grant him the place at the table in your heavenly kingdom. We ask in faith we shall response. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, you wept at the death of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. We ask this in faith. Lord, hear our prayer. You raise the day to life. Give our brother, Bishop Martin, eternal life. We ask this in faith. Lord, hear our prayer. You promised paradise to the thief who repented. Bring our brother, Bishop Martin, to the joys of heaven. We ask this in faith. Lord, hear our prayer. Our brother, Bishop Martin, was watched clean in baptism and anointed with the oil of salvation. Give him fellowship in your, with your saints. We ask this in faith. Lord, hear our prayer. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of our brother, Bishop Martin. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. We ask this in faith. Lord, hear our prayer. Listen to our prayers for our brother Bishop Martin. As he always desired to do your will, so in your mercy forgive whatever wrong he may have done. By his Christian faith, he was united with all your believing people. Now in love and mercy, Give him a place with your angels and saints. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again with the bishops. In Give him eternal rest, O Lord. Let the Lord shine upon thee. May he rest in peace. Amen. Eternal rest given to him, O Lord. Let the Lord shine upon thee. May he rest in peace. Amen. Eternal and rest given to him, O oh Lord. May he rest in peace.
May you pray that the Almighty truly rest his soul in eternal peace. And if he's in heaven, we say, Bishop Martin, pray for us. And we can present to him our intentions. He will plead to God for our cause. Thank you. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Uh, Amen. 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 Amen.